and welcome to another Connecta sponsored unboxing video. My name is Brian East and today we will be looking at the Crater Point W1850 indoor adapter. Now this device is part of Crater Point's branch series of fixed wireless adapters and routers along with the W2005, E300 and E3000. Now each of these routers and adapters have different specifications and would be used in different scenarios though there is some overlap. Each works well in a branch deployment, supports all the major carriers, and has the coveted C-band certification. The C-band is considered by most as the sweet spot for 5G communications, blending the right amount of throughput and propagation. The W1850 unit is an indoor device, along with the E300 and E3000, while the W2005 unit is outdoor. However, all of these support the Crater Point Captive Modem feature, which allows external Ethernet connected modem to be placed closer to the signal source. This is perfect for scenarios where the router would likely live in a low signal strength area. Due to their fast 5G speeds, compact size, superior connectivity and security, this is the perfect LAN router for restaurants, retailers, homes, dorms, apartments, medical clinics, and branch offices. Designed for branches that require the higher performance of 5G and the flexibility of wireless, the Crater Point W1850 5G wideband adapters usher in the next generation of wireless WAN networking. The W series is specifically designed to accommodate the diverse spectrums, multiple generations, and breadth of new technologies introduced in 5G while delivering enterprise class standards of scalability, comprehensive management, and security. Let's take a closer look at what sets the Crater Point W1850 apart from the rest. All right, let's open up and see inside. The first thing you'll notice is a little insert here uh, instructing you to go to the App Store or the iTunes Store to download the Cradle Point Verify app. This will help you to quickly install your device and get it set up with NetCloud Manager. Now, NetCloud Manager is where you're going to do the vast majority of your configuration. Underneath here, you've got your mounting template. There's a variety of different mounting options that you've got, and these little holes right here correspond to where you would put your screws, depending on which configuration you wanted. And now the device itself. You see on the front, there is a con uh, configuration port for your USB, and also a SIM gate. Open this up, and you see two nano SIM slots, so you can put one in either one or two in both of them. You can put the primary SIM in the second slot, but I highly recommend you put it in the first slot. Keep in mind that the device will not power on if this gate is open. Also, remember to put your SIMs in with the notched edge forward and the copper facing down. Flipping over here, we've got two antennae connectors. Here's your main for your 5G and your div for your 4G LTE. On the flip side is your MIMO 1 and 2. Now under the underside here, you've got your power port and three ethernet ports. The first one here is for console and these second two are 2.5 gig ethernet ports, the last one being a PoE. And finally, you've got your reset button right there. Digging in a little further, you've got your AC power adapter. This is going to be a 36 watt 3 amp device. You've got your four antennae, they're paddle antennae. These are interchangeable on any of the connectors on the device. You've got your ethernet cable right here and your small accessories kit. This is going to include uh, rubber feet for the bottom of the device itself mounting screws and anchors, as well as the miniature screw that will lock in your uh, SIM gate. Now physical assembly of the device is very quick and very easy. The first thing we're gonna do is install your SIM card or SIM cards. So you open the gate. Now if you're using two SIM cards, go ahead and put your primary one into slot one and your secondary into two. 
If you're only using one, you can put it into either one, though I recommend slot one. The reason being, if you decide to add a second SIM sometime in the future, it's less configuration having put it into one in the first place. And remember, the device will not power on unless the SIM gate is closed. The next thing that we'll do is to affix the rubber feet, the adhesive ones, to these spots right here, and then mount it to the wall or, or put it on the rack wherever you're gonna put it. You've got your anchors and your Phillips head screws right here. And then finally, you've got your miniature screw. It's gonna be a smaller Phillips head to lock your SIM gate. Next thing we'll do is plug in the power supply. I wouldn't recommend plugging it in into the wall yet. But let's go ahead and stage it. And then you're gonna connect your ethernet cable. You can put it in a POE1 or, PO, or LAN slot 1 or LAN slot 2. Uh, LAN slot 2, again, is the POE. Uh, just for best practices, I would go ahead and put it in a slot 1, unless, of course, the device you're connecting it to is a POE device. Then you've got your little channel right here for cable management. And the last thing is our antennae. You've got your four paddle antennae. And like I said before, they, you don't have to decide which one goes into which connector. They are interchangeable. So you just twist them on and then flip them up. Now remember, when you're connecting these, you're going to want to make them to where they are thumb tight. Now obviously, if you don't tighten them up enough, you'll lose some signal. Uh, they become wobbly. It's kind of annoying. And you don't want to tighten them too much because you might damage the equipment, which is a big no-no. So here we are. Our device is assembled. You're ready to plug it into the wall, power it on, and get going. What makes this device, as well as other Cradle Point Enterprise 5G routers, so special is the zero-touch deployment and day one connectivity. You do not need a dedicated IT network engineer to make this work. In fact, a retail store manager can open the box and have blazing fast internet speeds in less than 15 minutes in most cases. But don't confuse the ease with simplicity. Using the NetCloud Manager, you're able to set cutting edge security practices, complex routing and tunneling, and robust failover redundancy with little difficulty. This device boasts end-to-end -end device security through OpenVPN, access control, encrypted configuration, monitoring, threat alerts, hacker prevention, and password protection, along with many more advanced security features. The W1850 has a no-frills design, which makes it perfect for any home, office, small business, and many other locations that need fast, reliable, and secure internet access. The setup's also fast, easy, and doesn't require a service technician. Creative Point's NetCloud Manager comes in a mobile app as well, giving you access to alerts, configuration, and statuses wherever you are. The Creative Point W1850 is a perfect solution for small, mid-sized branch locations like restaurants, retailers, homes, dorms, apartments, and medical clinics. This has been a Connecta sponsored unboxing video of the Creative Point W1850 5G cellular adapter. My name is Brian East, and thank you for watching. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code on the following slide. I'll see you next time.